I am uh, a lecturer currently at the Department of Physiotherapy, University of Gondor College of Medicine and Health Science. Uh, I have been working as a physio since uh, start, starting uh, 2008. If you see the developing and low income country professionals, uh, it's quite hard to, to practice evidence based medicine unless they get some uh, up to date and current research evidences. Uh, we were relying on old books, I can say 1980s, 1970s, which is actually very difficult to, to talk about the patient care. Inari was founded a decade ago to bridge the information gap in health. It was soon joined by three other Research for Life programs, Agora, Oare and Adi, to provide free or low-cost access to critical research in health, environment, agriculture and innovation from leading scientific publishers. Hinari uh, is actually, it's, you can say it's one of the biggest library in the world. We can access different journals and articles. We did uh, research for our, our graduation and most of our articles were downloaded from the Hinari website. I've done my uh, thesis on diabetic patients uh, and uh, I use most of the articles uh, that I found from the Hinari website and uh, it, it helps me a lot because I found uh, so many articles that I couldn't get from other websites because they ask payment but on Hinari uh, I get all of them free and they were all helpful for my thesis. More than 8,000 peer-reviewed journals and 7,000 online books and databases are available through Hanari alone. This is said to be the biggest step ever taken towards reducing the health information gap between rich and poor countries. Hinari for healthcare uh, prof professionals in, develop in developing and low-income countries is, I can't say it's like their office, it's like their home. It's like their, you know, you can go and just check some articles and it's very easy. So, um, welcome to the journal club. We are teaching our students how to utilize evidence-based medicine in their, into their clinical practice. Uh, we started gathering some uh, literatures and journals and sit our, with our colleague and start appraising the papers and uh, gather some information which are helpful to our department and we adopted some, some uh, techniques and we developed a therapy exercise program that run uh, for four months in our department. Do we have internet today? But using the Hanari at Gondor University also has its challenges. I think uh, unreliable power, um, poor internet connection um, and changing the culture, the practice and uh, teaching people to use Hinaris are some of the challenges you can find in Ethiopia. We are bridging the gap between the developing and developing countries now. I mean, what is practiced in America now, we can practice it here because of Hinaris.